Hello everyone, welcome to Suga's Kitchen. So today I'm going to show you a very easy snack. In fact, it's one of the easiest South Indian snacks and uh, most delicious and nutritious. What it has is a mix of basin and rice flour uh, put into a mold and uh, when it's fried, it's called oma puri. So this is how it is when it is uh, fried. And along with that, we have fried peanuts fried gram dal and fried beaten rice so you can add some more things like uh, wheat flakes and all that but these are the things that i normally add to get a good flavor to flavor that we have salt chili powder and ghee and the fried curry leaves give a very nice aroma and flavor to the whole mixture so all this mixed together becomes mixture so let's just put it into this and when you crush it and add the ingredients and give it a good shake to get the mixture. This is a very good tea time snack, very good for children who are at home, healthy, nutritious and uh, fried in oil but still not too oily. So what you need for the oma puri is for one measure of basin or gram flour any measure you take one measure you add quarter measure rice you have to seed the flour because some harsh ingredients in the flour can cause the oil to splutter so it's always safer to seed the flour once it's seeded You can use the store bought flour or you can make at home but what I have used today is the store bought flour. We get good quality in Yelagiri so buy one of the best brands that are available through Amazon or your supermarket. Now to this what I am going to add is for the omapuri salt, hing, butter and this is omam. Omam is called thyme I think in English. So what I have done is I have taken 1 teaspoon, soaked it in water and heated it to get out the full flavor. Now to this salt and hing you have to add a little water say just a teaspoon. It is always better to filter the salt and hing because even in salt there could be some rough ingredients which can cause the oil to splutter. Let's filter the hing also and then filter the oma. So this is the only thing that gives the flavor. Add only one teaspoon because too much water is not, uh, you will get a very watery dough. So now I am going to add the butter. Mix it well, add water little by little if you feel the consistency is not okay but in the final consistency your dough should be something like this. See here, it is soft and smooth and what you need is, this is the omopodi press. So it has small holes. So you put it through your wooden press, mix it properly, I am just showing you a demo, take a little bit of the dough, put it into your sieve press, take the top part, just check if the oil is hot by Dropping a little dough. It's hot. So make the flame small. Otherwise it can overheat. And press the in circular motions. Keep your ladle ready. This gets fried very fast because it's through the thin press. 
the omoputty press. Turn it over very lightly. Now the oil has stopped spluttering. It's done. So remove it onto a kitchen paper to drain out the oil. Now the other ingredients that go into the mixture peanuts. So I'm frying that. You can also dry fry the peanuts but it won't be crispy in the mixture because your oma pudding or the basin and rice flour is going to be very crispy. So to get a crispness uh, from the peanuts it's better to fry it. My flame is in medium. If you keep it in high, it can get burnt. So drain out the oil carefully and add it to your omo pudding. Next to be fried is the fried gram. So this also I'm going to deep fry. This will get done very fast. So let it be in medium again. Take care while frying. This is the beaten rice. The thin flakes are taken. So add that. I've kept it almost in low flame because uh, this will get fried very fast. Add it to your kitchen paper. Now when you add the curry leaves, there's every chance that it will splutter. Although I've dried it very well. So stay away from the oil and drop it very carefully. Let it fry well. Otherwise the moisture in the leaves will dampen the omopodi mixture. Now I can switch off the flame. So you saw what texture the dough has to be in. When you add the butter, the salt water, the hing water and the omum water. Just put sp uh, spoonfuls of the water to dissolve the salt and everything. Now all this is fried. So put a piece of kitchen paper to absorb the excess oil. Now after it's a well absorbed oil, all you do is give it a good shake, all the ingredients together. Now I have here chilli powder, salt and hing. I'm going to mix all of them. This is what gives the final flavor. Just add it to this. Enjoy your homemade mixture in its full flavor. Give it to your children and eat.